The last thing I do when I walk into a strip club is say, I want to I want to test the silverware around here. You're not thinking about food at a strip club? No? <laughs> I mean, man, yeah. All right. I'd like to know what the kitchen has cooking up here today. That's not what I'm thinking when I walk into one of these places. All right. Let's just say, for argument's sake, um, that everyone's right that the wings at Magic City are the greatest <laughs> on the planet, right? Let, let, let's just let's have a baseline of that, okay? Yeah. Can, can we agree on that? Let's try, yeah. I've never had them, but sure, okay. Okay. It's still a selfish act, and I don't care how good the wings are. I don't care that he just quote-unquote went for dinner. I don't care really, truly, that it even was a strip club. I spoke to someone who's um, works in the league and, and not even specifically about the Williams, but about what's going on with baseball and what's going on with the NBA and, and why it seems to be working with the NBA. And it's no guarantee that this whole thing is going to finish. It's no guarantee that, that it's, you know, we're not going to have major issues down the road. But one of the things that we've set up here being in the quote unquote bubble, they, they prefer to call it a campus is even though the employees at Disney World here are not being tested on a regular basis and they can come and go, which means it's not truly a sealed vacuum of, of, of what you would consider a bubble, there is still a cadence that is, that is set up with the workers knowing how to avoid people who are working here with the NBA, either as players or as media or staff members. There is a, a protocol that's set up that it, there's a routine that goes on on a daily basis. And it's taken very, very seriously. That's why there was no positive test by the players the last time, uh, the last time they released the numbers. What Lou Williams did is totally put this thing in jeopardy. And I get the jokes about the strip club, and I get the jokes about the wings, but he went for a funeral. If you need – there's so many different layers to this, DA. If you need to get wings in 2020 during a global pandemic where – Millions of people have lost their job, but you still have the opportunity to make millions of dollars by going down to Orlando to play basketball and possibly win a championship because your team's that good. Do you think he can get them Uber Eats? Or do you think Lou Williams, who has a menu item named after him, knows somebody at that strip club that will personally deliver those wings to your home or wherever you're staying? By going out into a large group of people who are untested, and only because social media captured it did you have to own it. You put this whole thing in jeopardy because as we learned, and, and we're still learning a lot, it only takes one person in a community to change the course of public health. And, and I'm not trying to get all you know sappy on you here with this, but the bottom line is if Lou Williams didn't get caught, he doesn't tell anybody, and then he comes back into this bubble, and even if the, upon his first and second and third and fourth day back, he tests negative, as we've learned with this crazy virus, you can test positive a week, two weeks, maybe three weeks after contracting the virus, and he wouldn't have known it. This is serious business. There's a thousand people on this campus who get tested every day, and not just his teammates who are trying to compete for a championship, but idiots like me are in possible danger, and I'm not trying to make this about me, but it's everybody here we're taking this seriously. And and if you're going for a funeral, go for the funeral. Get the wings delivered to your house somehow, some way. Well, that's exactly right. Jared Greenberg joins us for the NBA on TNT. It takes complete buy-in. If you want to reboot these leagues, these are enormous, unwieldy operations. These are a lot of people in a lot of places, and you're trying to have everything stay at this really delicate level of safety. And it takes complete and utter buy-in. And Lou Williams scoffed at it. No matter if it's a strip club, as you said, wings, whatever it is. It could have been a five-star meal at a steakhouse. He scoffed at the complete and total buy-in. Which is why I don't mind the snitch hotline. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's... Um, I, I think, you know, us making a joke of it is is ridiculous. And and, and I get, you know, listen, we're looking to have fun with things. But, but the bottom line is, if, if you know, <laughs> and, and again, this whole thing, something could happen, and, and maybe we don't finish the season here. This is, again, not a perfect 
scenario. But by wearing masks, by washing our hands, by socially distancing, by getting tested and having those test results turned around in less than 24 hours on a daily basis for everyone, we're showing the American government, the American people, we're showing the world how you reduce risk and you reduce cases. Again, maybe something does happen along the road that, that makes this, you know, make a right turn. But the bottom line is, so far, so good, and it's happening because of the buy-in, as you said. And we're taking the steps that we've heard for months now from the CDC, from public health officials, from the, the experts that the NBA has hired, and it's worked pretty well. If, if, if we're seeing people not wear masks, or we're seeing people skip their tests, as Paul Millsap and Christoph Porzingis have, if they don't get held accountable then there's no way that this works. There has to be a plan in place, and that plan must be followed. 